Back with us now, Congressman Darrell Issa from House Foreign Affairs. Congressman, it's great to have you on. Okay, now Israel says Iran is just 10 weeks from a nuclear weapon, and we have Hezbollah firing 19 rockets at Israel from southern Lebanon. We haven't seen that in 15 years. Now, the Iron Dome intercepted them, but what do you think of this story? Well, I think this provocative attack by their surrogate, Hezbollah, says a lot about what they are doing and will do once they get a nuclear weapon. If Israel doesn't act, if America, who hasn't acted, doesn't change their direction, Iran will have a nuclear weapon. They already have advances in their missiles capable of sending them where they want to send them. And it is only minutes uh, to Israel from Iran. And as you know, Liz, uh, you, don't inter you don't intercept a nuclear weapon quite the way you would a conventional rocket. Yeah. And Congressman, that's a that's an important point you just made. There's that, and also there's talk about uh, you know the Biden administration lifting sanctions on Iran. Republicans are at demanding answers about that. They're saying we're hearing um, about that first from Iran and not from you. Let's listen to the Associated Press reporter Matt Lee saying what asking the State Department officials what are you doing about Iran's terrorism? Listen to this. So what have you guys done? What has this administration done since January to to make uh, you know to make it clear to Iran, other than you know getting up on the podium or and, and condemning them? What actions has this administration done to show your disapproval or to punish them or to however you want whatever word you want to use? What what have you done to make it clear to them that this is not acceptable? Uh, Matt, as you said yourself. Uh, Iran has been under heavy sanctions uh, since 2018. Uh, those sanctions, every single one of them, remains in place. Well, we have not removed. But they've gotten worse, and you guys haven't done anything. Uh, in fact, you've lifted some sanctions. Uh, we, we, have, we have not lifted. Uh, in New York, you guys, you guys went back on the, uh, you know, on the snapback. What do you say to that, Congressman? Well, clearly they have lifted sanctions. They have reversed the direction that President Trump uh, did. Certainly they're not going to pick another target like General Soleimani to take out to thwart their terrorism. They're not uh, taking on the nuclear ambitions of this country, just the opposite. They've signaled that they're going back into negotiations to, quote, slow the development, slow, not stop the development of nuclear weapons. Iran has been a terrorist state since 1979. They have completely destroyed the country of Lebanon and terrorized the people of Israel since that time, and they've done so without a nuclear weapon. Once they get a nuclear weapon, it won't just be Israel and, and Lebanon. It will be the Gulf neighbors. It will be the, uh, the actual shipping routes that are critical for oil and natural gas. And quite frankly, it will be the rest of the world. And that's what their ambition is. They've said it publicly uh, for all those years since 1979. Uh, and they may just very well be within 10 weeks if neither Israel nor the U.S. will act. And I'm pretty comfortable that the U.S. has no intention on acting. Congressman, your take on the new president of Iran. He's an ultra hardline cleric. He's accused by human rights groups around the world of executing and killing not, excuse me, 4,000, at least 4,000 political prisoners through the years. So he's pretty aggressive here. This is why Republicans saying, are saying to state and treasury, give us all your communications, Biden White House, for what you're telling Iran, because Iran has more information than we do about what you're doing to lift sanctions in order to get the new, another Iran nuclear deal in place. Your final word. Iran is going harder and harder against its own people, and they stand in fear of, of their people. And not to change subjects, but when the people are rioting and demonstrating in the streets of Havana and this, this administration stays silent, they're really sending a, a signal around the world that people who want liberty will not have the United States behind yeah. them, and that certainly includes okay. Tehran. Yeah, and you've talked, too, about the protests in Iran, too, that were squashed as well with the silence from, uh, you know, officials here. Thank you, Congressman Darrell Issa. Thank you for speaking Thank you, out. Liz. It's good to see you.